Hey, so I went to a sleep study at, it was kind of like a hospital kind of thing, but it wasn't really a hospital. I don't really know what you call it. I guess it was just like a sleep facility, but it had like a hospital vibe to it. I don't really know what I'm saying, but um, basically I'm going to be kind of telling you what happened throughout the video because I didn't record, I recorded a lot more than I thought I did, but I didn't record very much. Um, the first guy knew what I was doing, he knew that I was vlogging the whole thing, you know, he was there when I was recording him putting shit in my hair. So he knew. The second guy didn't really know, and by the time I woke up, I was not wanting to talk to anybody. I was in so much pain that um, I was, I wanted to cry, and I didn't want to vlog at it, as it is. And explaining why I do YouTube and stuff like that is um, not something I really wanted to do when I was in that much pain, because I wasn't able to think really either. Um, there is several moments during the um, test, during the day test, that I was just about to leave because of how much pain my interstitial cystitis was causing me at the time. I now know that the reason I was in such a flare is because I was about to start my period. I haven't started my period in like six months so my body is kind of like rebelling and um, I guess making up time making up lost time I think is how you say it um, I have an IUD which I'll put a picture right here to show you what that is in case you don't know it's basically birth control so that's why I haven't had a period for so long um, I don't miss them <laughs> I can tell you that right now Hi, my name is Kat. Hey, so I'm doing my sleep study. Hey, so today I'm doing my sleep study. As you can see, I've already been wrapped up and stuff. It's actually the next day, so this is like inception or something. It's kind of weird, but y'all are about to see what has already happened, and then an update from um, my next sleep test, which is actually going to be today. So I got to stay here and wait for my nap study to start which will be a series of five things. So, um, I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be. Hopefully it's not as long as like my EEG. That was three days though, so I don't really think it's gonna be like an hour long. I don't really think I've been talking to y'all that often either. Um, but I'm really tired. <laughs> so, hopefully I can go home late soon. It's probably not gonna be like till two or something though, and it's like seven, um, like maybe a little bit before seven. So, um, I'm gonna let y'all see what I've done basically, I guess. Okay, so we're here. My mom's helping me bring, or she's doing it actually. She's bringing all the stuff inside, and um, I'll update you when we get inside. Can I record you doing it? Okay. You want me to blur your face out? It's going on YouTube. <laughs> so I had to take a seat for him in the chair there. Mm. Doing my hair down. I haven't brushed it, just so you know. <laughs> So what we're actually going to do first is we're going to start off with your legs. Okay, then I'm just going to put my hair back up and just move Ah, uh, you will just let me know if you're gonna do it. That way, I can unsnap the leg leads. Okay. Hmm. I said the leg leads—they come off real easy. They just 
like I said, they pop off just like this. Okay. Um, so if you have to do that, um, it's, it's pretty easy to <laughs> get you. <laughs> so I'm gonna start. You point your toes up for me. Like that or like this? Yeah, there you go. I just wanna feel that muscle right there. Make sure we get it in a good spot. Haha. <laughs> You guys have a pretty far drive here. It's probably 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Well, not too bad then. Other than the, the weather. Yeah, it's pouring down the brain, brain, so I was kind of looking. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm still soaking wet. My shoes are, my socks are soaking wet because I stepped in the last big pedal. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> in the parking lot, I was going to say that. No, what, at my house. I was going to say, with the way that the. Uh, the drainage is here in the parking lot right there where you guys park mm -hmm. that water runs right behind the cars and it doesn't look deep but if you step in it, it it's usually above the ankles mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now when i was trying to load the car it just came with gully water like and was like thanks lord <laughs> 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 i mean i know we need the water but because she had all this stuff she wanted to bring <laughs> And this is one of those weighted blankets and you know? all this like heavy blanket. So you got your own YouTube channel? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, my daughters <laughs> do this. They love to do this stuff. Something for me to do. <laughs> Since I can't work. Yeah. No! Pull that up. Go back over your shoulder here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the, the belts on. These I'm are not even, this. just so you know. Yeah, I know. They're not going to be. Oh, that's going to bother me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so what these belts are for, mm -hmm. this is going to measure your, your effort whenever you're breathing in and out. So basically, it's measuring that how much your, your stomach and your chest raise and lower. Um, so we want to see how much effort you're putting into your breathing. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do here... Okay, why don't you put it right here so we can do it. Because we're moving. Oh. And this is actually going to sit right here. Let me go around. I think you can hold that right there for me? Yeah. Just like that. You want to put it up there and make sure it's on me? Hmm. Hmm. legs. Point down with it. Pick up your phone so I don't step on it. How's that? Does that work? Mm -hmm. Face is cut off, but you don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know what you look like. Right here and there. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Alright. So we got one more belt. With this one here, it's gonna go right up here. You hold that one for me right there. Mm -hmm. Go on your arm here. I meant to ask, is there any medications? I have taking? it with me. Do I need to give it to you? Uh, the only reason why I ask is because the uh, the history questionnaire that you guys filled out whenever she did the home supervise, there was nothing as far as medications listed. Oh, it's just for I'm again. sure. I haven't brought it. It's just her method, um, her, um, I just take Fenergan, which is just oh, okay. as needed for throwing up. As I said, more than likely it's in there with the doctor's referral. I was just curious yeah. if there's anything I need to Migraine know. Migraine medication, that sort of thing. Mostly as needed at night. Okay. Yeah. I feel like a prisoner. <laughs> uh, by the time I get all this on you, it's going to... Probably feel that way. I know it's a lot of stuff. I know. How does like how do people actually sleep with all the stuff on them? Yeah, you know, most people do. I, I guess some that you know they'll toss and turn for a couple of hours, and, and until that, I guess they just get wore out and finally they fall asleep. 
Uh, you know, I've been doing this for five years and I've only had one patient not sleep because of this. Oh, really? uh, now the CPAP, that's a different story. Yeah, you get on that, I get a lot of people that don't sleep. What's the CPAP? That's the narcolepsy thing? No, that's for uh, treating sleep apnea. It's where you wear the, the mask with the air. Mm. My husband has sleep apnea. He cannot sleep with that machine. We're going to put your EKG on right there. Um, he lost weight and he stopped, he stopped snoring and now he still, he's lost even more weight and now he's snoring again. I'm like, I don't get it. Yeah, I was going to say, typically it doesn't go away. Um, you know, if you lose a significant amount of weight, it'll decrease the amount of those events he's having, but it usually doesn't go away. Uh, you know, CPAP's an issue. Tell him to go get it tested again. It, he can go and get, you know, if it's mild sleep apnea, he can wear one of those oral appliances. Mm -hmm. um, and it's real good at treating mild sleep apnea. Uh, but they also have a, what's called a, I don't know if you guys heard the advertisement, it's called Inspire. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a hypoglossal nerve stimulator. What it does is it goes in, it's, for, it's like a day surgery, you're in and out, um, same day, but they implant a device in the chest, um, kind of like a pacemaker. Uh, but what it does is it sends a signal to your hypoglossal nerve um, and it makes that tongue go forward, which opens up the airway. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, it, it's fairly new. Um, but I mean, it's, it's something to look at, is CPAP was a, a big issue. A lot of people have problems with it. So. I know he doesn't sleep. What are we doing now? And I don't sleep unless I fall asleep beforehand. So. What we're doing now? First off, I got to get a measurement of your neck real quick. Once we get the neck measurement, we're gonna put a snore sensor on the neck. This is going to be fun on the EEG because my mark is red and your hair is red. Mm -hmm. They did the same, they had the same problem. They had to go have a black Because <laughs> they had freshly dyed my hair. So she's like, I can't see it at all. Mm. Alright, so we're going to put your snore sensor on. You look up for me. Like. Just like that. Make ah! Make sure we don't get any hair in there. Try to make this as a least amount as painful as I can for you. Does it have to go there? Yeah, I mean we could, are you ready? Less, like, like where it's gonna feel like it's choking me, I guess, if possible. Yeah, we can go up more, are you ready for the full state I'm talking about her. Yeah, we can go up. Good I was just worried about getting your hair in there with it. Yeah. Will that be all right? Yeah. Right as long as you can pick up that vibration, that's all that matters. Yeah, that feels a lot less like I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, I wish they'd come up with a better way to do this stuff. <laughs> well, they're not having to do it, so they're not Yeah, true. Mm. Yeah, so, you know, if you have to get up and go to the bathroom, you this is... I won't have to unplug all these. There's a cable that's actually running underneath the pillows here <laughs> that plugs into this box. Tape it when you did the EEGs too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just speed it up and put music over it. What's that? I speed it up and put music over it. Oh. <laughs> yeah,
an hour worth of footage. It took forever to speed up because I have to make it smaller sections. And so an hour's worth of video is like a hundred little small sections I just beat up individually. Time lapsing. Gives me something I do other than watch Netflix though. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of stuff on Netflix though. Yeah, but I'm pretty much homebound, so. Yeah. I've watched everything. I've watched The Mocking Dead 50 million times. <laughs> It is. I'm gonna be upset if they like in that or kill Daryl when they killed. Um, I can't think of his brother's name right now, but I cried like a baby. Oh yeah, Merle. Yes, that him. I was like, they should have killed Andrea a long ass time ago, and then like kept him because Andrea was pissing me off. Have you watched any of the Fear of the Walking Dead? Mm -hmm. I haven't watched that one yet. It's not. Uh, it's good. I, I still just like The Walking Dead better. I think. Mmm. Nah. Nah. Ha ha. Get behind the ear here. Nah. Sorry. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You scared her. <laughs> she does the same thing to us. I hate when I'm driving and she screams. <laughs> I say it doesn't matter. Even if even if I knew it was coming, I would still jump. I'm always this. afraid I'm going to wreck into somebody because she scares the daylights out of me sometimes. So I've, I've gotten almost to where I have to tune it out now because pretend it's not even going to happen anymore. Just, just ignore it. Just get you some airplanes <laughs> while you drive. Yeah. Well, Echo is in the car too. I think that's what it is. Uh, it echoes in the car. Yeah. Is it closed down? Let's get this one. Mm -hmm. I think I might throw up. Can you give me the trash can? Nah oh. ha ha! Mm hmm. Burns. Expecting nothing. The, the paste has got a iodine in it. That's usually what causes the itching. The burn. Is it to clean it? What's that? Is it iodine to clean? It, yeah, it's basically just to make sure you don't get an infection. That's that brown stuff they put on you before piercing, right? Yeah, kind of, kind of like the same stuff. Um, this is it. It's made in with the paste, though. Mm -hmm. So, because whenever I'm cleaning these, it's taking that first layer of skin off, um, that top layer. I just want to make sure you don't, think, you don't get an infection or anything. Closer to being done here. No! I'm worried I'm gonna stab myself one day. <laughs> That's practical. I keep hearing people talking about that. I don't even know what it is. What's that? That takes us live. Looks like a place to drink. Mm. Oh, but there's kids there. Can kids go in a bar? Well, I guess they can go to the fair. In a bar, though. Oh, it's your like restaurant? A, yeah. It's like games and stuff. Too many people. I'm good. Oh, I'm the same way. <laughs> I don't like big crowds. Mm -mm. Especially with my lousy ass. <laughs> I'd have everybody in that room like, what the hell is well, I'd wrong have fun with that if I was you. <laughs> well, I have one that I don't think I've done here where I yell monkey. It's so... And I get a lot of looks for that one too. <laughs> I just wish my ticks were more attractive. They sound ugly. Mm. Nah. Nah. Sounds too loud. I don't like going places that are loud. Mm. Sometimes the zoo is even too loud. So. What is? Mm. Sometimes the zoo is even too loud. I like kids, but a bunch of annoying kids at once. Mm. <laughs> So I guess I would like my kids when I have kids. 
I used to teach swimming, and parents are the worst. Yeah? Mm-hmm. They're, there's the smallest things they'll complain about. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, I did. I forgot. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so I've got all my stuff on and everything. I was recording, as y'all saw, and it was, uh, what do you call it? Battery died. I still have very little battery, but I recharged it for a second. But, um, I've got this little red thing on. It's making me tick a lot. Hmm. <laughs> um, but, cords there. These are my phone. <laughs> All the cords in my hair. Kind of like an EEG, but nowhere near fully. These cords and little whatever straps around my boobs and chest. And then I've got two cords on each side of my legs, I believe it is. But, um, I'm gonna try to eat something real quick before I go to sleep. I've been throwing up a lot. So, hopefully I can, like, hold this stuff down this time and not throw it up. But, um, I will update you in the morning and throughout the night if I wake up, if I'm awake enough to talk to y'all and stuff. I'll update y'all, of course. But, um, not gonna be able to update you very much because my battery's dying. I am going to need to get another battery to be able to, like vlog well enough to not like need to use my phone because I've recorded some stuff on my phone but the quality is so much different I don't know if I'm going to use it <sighs> I'm out of breath but um in a big room um I feel like this bed is like swallowing me up because of how big it is this is like a uh what do you call it full size bed and I'm used to H1 but I look very special with this like red thing on right in my nose. It's for um he told me. I think the temperature of my of my air coming out of my nose or something like that. I don't know. But um I will talk to you later on when my next update it is, I guess, because I don't know when it's gonna be yet. But um yeah. Hold my I'm all hooked up now, so I'll talk to you later. Bye. I have this on my nose because I'm eating right now. And it was in the way because of my eating. But anyway, they put a no new one on because I was taking and sweating and it flung off. So we're hoping this one will stay on better. So wish us luck. So I want to explain the um, clip you're about to see. Um, I didn't explain myself at all. I have incontinence, which is where I do urinate on myself without any control. Like I'm not doing it by will. It just happens when I very much wish it didn't. Um, but I also tend to urinate on myself on purpose when I have flares where I'm having retention. Retention is when your urine is stuck in your bladder and you can't get the pee out except for like little bitty drops at a time. Instead of sitting on a toilet for 50 million years, I will put a pull up on and urinate on myself drop by drop until my whole bladder is gone or uh, emptied to make it where I'm living a life I guess because um I don't know about you if you've ever sit on a toilet too long your ass gets a nice big red ring around it and I don't like that and my TMI or not but my vagina tends to fall asleep and there's not a TV in my room or in my bathroom so um yeah I'd rather urinate on myself in a diaper during these times than sit on a toilet all the time but um Okay, so at this point, I hadn't been to sleep at all yet. Um, he said when I woke up the next day that there are signs that before I made this clip that I was starting to fall asleep, but my bladder was just not working with me that night, and I really think that's why we're probably going to have to redo this. Um, I'll talk about that later on. It's 2.14 a.m. and I'm still not asleep. My bladder is fucking with me, and so I'm trying not to go to sleep a lot. That's not what I meant. I'm trying not to go pee a lot, but I didn't bring very many diapers, so I have to get up and go. Normally when I fall asleep, I kind of pee on myself to help with my IC, because otherwise I won't sleep like this. And I wasn't very prepared, I guess. 
I have three with me, but I'm really worried that's not going to be enough because I'm supposed to stay tomorrow to do a test, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen if I don't get at least six hours of sleep, and that doesn't look like it's going to happen, so we're probably going to have to redo this. But I've talked to some people, and it's not uncommon for us to have to redo the test if you have insomnia one night or the other. Um, I finally have calmed down tick-wise. I was ticking a lot, and... Um, was keeping me awake and we have a pediatric little oxy what is it called oxy something or another I'll put the name of it on the screen um because he says my hands are small apparently so I'm using a baby's or a child's um pulse oximeter I think it's called to find out how much oxygen and like my heart rate and all that stuff I believe so, hope that I can sleep for a little bit. I'm gonna lay down again. I was in the bathroom for a while. Maybe 30 minutes, maybe less, I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Wish me luck. Hey, so I'm awake now. I was able to sleep for a little bit. They came in and took my the belts around my chest and stomach off. And um, the snore thing... And I think the thing underneath my nose is all they took off. I'm feeling very nauseated. I've been throwing up a lot lately. Um, for a while, I was doing really good and wasn't throwing up every day. And for the past two weeks, I've been throwing up every day. And really don't want to throw up. I'm really sleepy and I just really want to go home. I'm ready to go home. But, I don't know. I kind of feel a little awkward talking in here because I know they can hear me. Um, but, yeah, i got to stay awake until 7 something. He's going to come back and check my wires and then a little soon after that we'll start the first nap. And we'll see what happens. I keep, I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention to the screen. But, um, they're going to see if I go into rim, seat, uh, rim sleep after a certain what do you call it this camera is heavy um they're trying to see if i'll go into room sleep after it like a night sleep um so the reason they have to do it after a night sleep here is because i want to make sure that I'm, i actually got sleep and so um i guess that's so people can't fake it or something um, but, yeah, <laughs> basically we're going to be doing a sleep, another sleep test soon, so I guess hope that I don't go into room sleep, I feel like I might, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to update you later, I'm really sorry I'm kind of out of it right now, but yeah, bye. Okay, so I was having a flare since going to sleep, but um, when I woke up, it was bad. And it slowly kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse. So I honestly believe that we're going to have to redo this. You're not going to get any results for this vlog and neither am I. So we're kind of in the same boat. But my flare honestly made this test not accurate in my opinion. Um, I don't always have flares this bad when I'm going to sleep. I do have um, overactive flares and retention flares but those aren't painful normally. Um, they're just um, annoying where I'm having to go to sleep where I'm having to sleep again <laughs> where I'm having to pee a lot when I actually pee they hurt um, I, that I always hurt when I pee but when I'm not peeing I'm and I'm having that type of flare at night it normally doesn't hurt I was having a really 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 bad flare though so I was constantly in pain I really think that that robbed me from this test because I was in so much pain that I could literally not sleep. And um, yes, interstitial cystitis does take away from my sleep a lot, um, but to get an accurate sleep test, you need to be able to sleep, and I couldn't sleep. Um, and the fact that falling asleep isn't really my problem. It does take me a long time to sleep, but that's not why I was there. I was there for my fatigueness. Why do I always want to sleep all the time? 
Um, like right now, I don't look like it. Maybe I have huge eye, eye bags all the time, but I could literally sleep forever right now. And I've only been up like a few hours. I haven't been up that long. So, um, yeah, I really feel like we're going to have to redo this test, but we're about to go into the nap section of this test. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to sleep for my first nap, so wish me luck. My bladder's not very happy. Okay, so the first nap is over. He said that I am started to fall asleep, and I agree with that. Um, but he's actually going to get me food now. So um, in about an hour, maybe, I have my next sleep napping thing. And um, there's a possibility I could be here till, like, after 5. So... Hopefully I'm not here for that long, but um, so far it's going good. My bladder is not happy. Um, I can't medicate here, so um, yeah, my bladder's not happy. But I do have my CBD drops, so I don't really know if it's helping very much or not. I, I don't really know how bad it would be without it is what I mean. So um, yeah, I'll up to you next time right before I go to sleep again. Okay, so we're on to nap two. Bladder still being an asshole, so wish me luck. Okay, so we're about to do my third nap. Um, I can't remember exactly how many naps I did. I either did four or five. It, I don't really know. I think I did four. But um, at this point, my mood was not good. It, um, I wasn't very peppy in this video either. Anyway, um, but I kind of really didn't want to vlog. I was just like done. So, um, I didn't really say too much, but I recorded the calibrations that I did with every single, um, sleep test, so you can see that. Okay, so we're doing my third nap now. I'm sorry you can't see me, it's dark. But, um, he's about to call over the intercom. I'm having a really bad flare today. Okay, we can get started with calibrations quickly, okay? Okay. Just keep your eyes open for about 30 seconds. I'll let you know once we're done. Uh, of course, blink whenever you need to blink. Hmm. No. All right. Next, I need you to keep your eyes closed for about 30 seconds. Next, I need you to look up and then down five times with your eyes open. Alright, next, I need you to look uh, left and then right five times. Okay. Alright, next, I need you to blink five. Just blink five times. There we go. That's fine. And lastly, you need to kind of grind your teeth or bite down. That's fine. Okay. So go ahead and relax. Um, like I said, just close your eyes and try to fall asleep. Okay, so you can have about, about 15 to 35 minutes. Okay, thank you. Good night, y'all. Okay, so that is all I filmed. I had a mental breakdown in front of the guy after the fourth test. And, um, it wasn't the guy that did the thing. He left. It was a different totally guy. Total guy. Um, but he acted, reacted, it reacted pretty well. I brought some of the, um, CBD Kratom, um, cannabis, a joint with me. And I told him about it and he actually let me go out and smoke it. So, um, I'm glad I brought it because I didn't know if I was going to be able to smoke it. I know it was legal and everything, but it doesn't smell legal. It smells like... Um, normal cannabis because it is normal cannabis it's hemp cannabis but it just doesn't have any of the THC in it and um, it helped a little bit but honestly I noticed that CBD and THC works together better for me the problem is I'm in Texas and I don't want to smoke um, illegally I I'm perfectly fine with just going down to CBD creative and getting my stuff there because I can't go to jail um, that would be bad for me to go to jail with the whole chronic illness thing, I think it would make the whole situation a lot worse for me. Um, and I wouldn't be able to protect myself at all. So, yeah. I'm really glad that they opened up. Um, because 
for so long I wasn't able to treat myself because of laws. But yeah, I went out there and smoked that. Um, I'll put the CBD Kratom website down below if you want to check it out. Um, but I honestly really think that we're going to have to redo this test because I could not sleep because, specifically because my bladder. He, um, he brought me back and showed me the um, test that he was doing. It looked kind of like an EEG because it basically was an EEG without all, a lot of without all of the spots in your head um, hooked up and um, they were looking for like my sleep patterns uh, or my sleep cycle they were checking my sleep cycle and seeing where my how I was what was happening when I was sleeping so um, he said he did say that the night that I slept I did go into REM but I was waking up a lot um, and so we're gonna try to find out why I think it was my bladder um, because I always kind of wake up for a second with a full bladder and then I try to go, go back to sleep and then eventually I'll wake up, wake up, and get up. But before that happens, I normally wake up several times before I fully get up. Because um, I'm just so tired, pretty much. Um, but yeah, this the napping test, um, we're probably going to have to redo that and in order to redo that we're going to have to do the whole full night again because I need to know that I actually slept the full night because they don't want people staying up the whole night and then going in there and hitting REM sleep and then getting tests and then getting like a diagnosis of like narcolepsy or something when in reality they were just they just stayed up all night does that make sense um so I don't really know very much yet. Um, we're going to get the information sent over to a different doctor. So I have to call Cantrell's office and get them transferred over to my new doctor that I'm going to see through Medicaid because my Medicaid changed since I turned 21. I am keep moving, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, I just want to say thanks for watching. This video is like 35 minutes long or something like that shit. So, um, you're awesome for staying till the end. I love you. And if you're along this medical limbo journey with me, do not give up. You know your body better than anybody else. Do not give up. You deserve answers and better treatment. So, just know I love you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and maybe go check out my Patreon because I have a Patreon page now. So, um, yeah. Thank you for being alive. And goodbye.